Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good evening, I'm Cody Alcorn. We have breaking news at this hour. A death investigation is underway in Greenville County after a body was found earlier this afternoon in a shallow grave. The sheriff's office and coroner remain on the scene at this hour off Duncan Bridge Road near the Reedy River. The Greenville County Coroner's Office is assisting in this investigation, and again, this remains an active scene. We have a crew out there, and we'll have the very latest tonight on the 10 o'clock news, and the Sheriff's Office asking anyone with information to call 23 Crime. DHEC is investigating 44 additional cases of the coronavirus in South Carolina. This brings the total number statewide to 342 across 36 counties. There are five confirmed deaths, but tonight that number has jumped to seven. In the upstate, Anderson and Greenville counties have the most cases confirmed. Greenville with 39 and Anderson with 16 confirmed coronavirus cases. We have much more on these numbers, plus the ones out of Georgia and North Carolina at foxcarolina.com. And we should also mention students in South Carolina will be out of school through the end of April. Right now, we do want to check in with meteorologist Ben Dorenbach over in the Weather Center. Ben, it's been a rainy Tuesday. What are we looking like going into overnight hours? Uh, rainier, if not stormier. Yes, we're expecting thunderstorms throughout the night that could produce some heavy rain and even possibly severe weather. For that reason, a flash flood watch is in effect through 8 a.m. Wednesday for our westernmost areas, Rabin, Macon, Graham, and Swain counties. That includes you. That's where flash flooding is most likely. Areas outside the watch, though, could very well see localized flooding as we've had a decent amount of rain so far today. In addition, to that, we've got a marginal risk for severe weather. We've got a line of thunderstorms that's progressing eastward and will be moving through overnight. The threats include damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, and even the outside chance at a brief spin up tornado. So be sure to have a way of receiving watches and warnings to wake you up in case you are asleep in a warned area. Throughout the night, 10, 11 p.m., we'll see this approach the mountains and then midnight start to move into the upstate and likely continue through about 2, 3 a.m., after which it'll move pretty quickly out of the area. A reminder we'll have continuing coverage tonight on on the 10 and 11 o'clock newscast as well as on the Fox Carolina news app and all of our social media platforms. Have a good one.